Hey, it's Jake here from Network Nerve. In this tutorial, we're probably going to go over GUI rendering and probably entities. So, let's get started. In the bottom of my class, I have a method that was near from last tutorial, but it basically sets up the 2D camera. Just, you can pause the video and uh, copy this down. Uh, it's just basically to set up the 2D camera and all that. It's kind of not too important but need it. Uh, so copy that down and then we're going to go in our game loop and we're going to call that method right here instance dot init 2d and that should set up the camera so we can start drawing things. So now from here we're going to want to make a class called GUI and in this class we're basically going to uh, put all our rendering methods, anything that draws something or uh, handles any calculations for drawing things, it's going to go here. So, first thing we're probably going to want to do is uh, set up a method to convert um, colors that are hex into RGBA. So, do public float get red from hex. And we're going to have int color. And I spelled that wrong. Alright. So from here we're going to do return. And we're going to cast it as a float. Color. And then those two symbols. 16 and cuxff. And that I put 255 F. And this is basically just the math for converting the red part from your hex code. And we need to do the green part next. Public float get green from hex int color. Return float color 8 and UXFF divided by 255F and the next one public float get blue from hex int color return float color 24 and 2xff divided by 255f and the last one which is the alpha float get alpha from hex and color turn float color 24. Oh wait, for the blue, we just do this. Make sure you change that. Let's see what's FF divided by 255F. Alright, so this should make our life a lot easier once it's all set up. Uh, now we're going to do public void draw correct float x, float y, float width, float height, and int color. So from here we can do float r equals this dot get red from hex color float g equals this dot get green from hex color so b equals this dot get blue from hex and float a equals this dot get alpha from hex color then when you do gl11 dot gl enable 
gl 11.gl underscore blend and then gl 11.gl disable gl 11.gl underscore texture underscore 2d and then gl 11 gl begin gl underscore quads oops and change this so basically from here I set up the colors, the red, green, and blue, using these methods over here. And I got the alpha channel that handles transparency. And I allowed blending, so transparency works, and I disabled texture since we're not working with a texture, we're just drawing shapes. And uh, I enabled quads, which basically tells it we're basically drawing uh, a quad that has like four corners. Um, g11.gl end and then from here you're going to do g11.gl underscore gl color for f r g b a and move this to here and this sets our color that we used over here now we do gl11.gl vert text to f and we're going to put x and y and you want to copy this four times since we have four corners, so we need four vertices. And x plus width. And then x plus width plus height. And then for the last one, do plus height. And then, just basically take these two methods, copy them over here. So GL enable, do GL disable, and enable textures. So this is what it should look like to draw our rectangle. And this is the majority of the GUI class. It's really what you need uh, to start drawing everything. So from here, actually, I'm going to add the episode right here. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go over uh, the entity class uh, and then we'll start drawing the entity and then after that it's probably going to be inputs uh, again if you have any questions let me know and I will see you in the next tutorial <laughs>